beautiful Librans, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with a little bonus reading. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pertain to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings, I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details and I'll never ask you for personal details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on to your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Librans, this reading is what your guides want you to know, and it coincides with that full moon eclipse in Scorpio, which is all about releasing things that no longer have a place in our life, things that may be weighing us down or holding us back. So whatever that is for you, whether it's trauma, whether it's sadness, grief, whether it is uh, you know low confidence, um, whatever it is, I mean, it's easier said than done to let it go, but um, this full moon actually promotes you uh, processing emotions and shedding them, leaving them in the past, okay? Now, also, this full moon eclipse is going to be very intense, very sensitive for everybody, uh, so you may feel a little bit more sensitive than usual. Uh, it also promotes clarity, uh, so you'll have super concentration on the other side of that full moon eclipse. Your brain will be like a supercomputer. Now, I'm going to get all your cards first before I do your reading. Uh, so let's see what is coming towards you. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Librans? What do they need to know for their highest good? What are they meant to see? Okay. Um, so, um, now, also, um, just to let you know, I will be running a free competition for one lucky subscriber to win a free personal reading. Um, I'll let you know uh, throughout the reading um, how to win that, uh, because some people are here for the messages only and some people are here for both. So I will uh, let you know how to do that. Uh, okay, um, we've got the Sun card, we've got the Strength card. Um, now, they're telling me here um, that you have a lot of courage. Uh, you are very uh, tenacious. You're the sort of person who leads with a lot of integrity. Uh, you stand true to your morals, they're showing me. Um, and that you may have struggled on your path, but you've always uh, been guided by your morals. Um, and you've always done what you felt was right. Now that really does connect to, of course, um, the uh, justice card which Librans you are you represent uh, the justice card uh, they want me to go two more on your thank you so much spirit guides great angels can you please guide thank you so much okay um now they're actually showing me i'm spying in the water at the same time as doing your reading they're showing me an image of a tornado um a tornado so i mean hopefully no one's experiencing a tornado at this time i know uh, you know of course very destructive force um so safeguard yourselves but um i feel this is more about energy so if you're not experiencing a tornado right at this moment in time perhaps um you feel like life is a bit of a whirlwind right now where you feel like time is just like ticking on by and you feel um like in a frenzied kind of energy uh, you may feel anxiety or something like that right now. I mean, tornado tends to be really fast, um, disruptive energy. So it can mean that, uh, you know, you're making some really quick decisions and shaking things up in your world. It doesn't have to be that there's a physical tornado there. Um, it's almost like, you know, like they're just giving me this Im image, like almost like the Tasmanian devil kind of energy right now where you're like, um, maybe you feel like you are uh, multitasking and doing so many things that like time and life is just like spinning on by and you're, you're always just doing, doing, doing. And it, it just feels a little bit like frenetic in the energy. Okay, so that's what they show me in the water and the energy I feel is I'm having to ground myself because 
uh, getting caught up in the energy it makes me want to talk a lot faster and sort of go really fast and want to, want to talk like this and I want to just go I'm trying to ground myself with that energy so perhaps that's how you're feeling right now um, or that's how you have been feeling in the last sort of 18 months where everything's been sort of like on high alert energy uh, right here in uh, I feel like um, heart chakra area uh, also solar plexus kind of area as well it just feels like on high alert uh, so maybe that's how you've been feeling in life in general um, for the last 18 months anyway let's get to your cards uh, my guides are showing me that um, you have a lot of strength within you but you tend to doubt yourself okay uh, they show me the five of pentacles they're pointing out the five of pentacles um, don't dwell on the things that you do not have or that you feel like you lack because that is your perspective of um, how can I put that like some people they look at themselves as not being enough in some way sometimes you doubt yourself um, and your guys want you to be aware that you're capable of achieving everything that you set out to do okay there's a lot of success coming your way uh, you got the sun card here but you may have felt like um i just get this feeling of because uh, you got the five of cups here and you got the five of pentacles they're showing me looking back now it could be that you feel like the good old days are gone or in some way that you're looking back um and um I mean, for the full moon eclipse especially, you are looking at sort of processing emotions of either loss, regret, grief, or feeling unloved or abandoned. You, uh, your guides want you to be aware of your, you're releasing something major. Now, a lot of signs will be re releasing things, but you are releasing something major for this particular full moon eclipse, okay? Anyway, let's get straight to the cards. The one, oh wow, the one who forgives. Okay, uh, I know it says she who forgives, uh, male or female, not a gender specific reading. I, I don't uh, assign gender to cards, but this is a wonderful um, L key oracle deck there. And um, it just happens to say that it says remorse, guilt, forgiveness. Interesting. Now, this is uh, about forgiving the past. Um, uh, we've got the we've got the uh, judgment card there. So I feel like you're weighing things up. You may be heavily in a philosophical energy in the next couple of uh, weeks uh, about releasing things in order to start anew or actually uh, manifest uh, you're actually releasing something that makes way for a major manifestation um, the one who forgives so I feel like this is forgiving like if you've been bullied in the past if you've been uh, you know uh, you've had a relationship that did not go to term or if you lost out on an opportunity um, may even be uh, family um, you know generational trauma or um, ancestral wounding uh, there's a lot of forgiveness and well there's a lot of releasing i just see so much releasing in your chart um, that actually brings really positive um aspects um i mean the sun card it's like the sun will come out again so um the one who forgives remorse guilt forgiveness i'm going to pull a card on that just to see what i'm getting um even though the five of pentacles and the five of cups there uh, you may feel a little bit left out by the universe you feel like you've been a little bit passed by you're so busy doing and like multitasking and um that you feel a little bit left out by the universe when it comes to um achieving something or the tower in reverse in the world yeah they're showing me that a difficult period i mean that tornado kind of energy is like a destructive force i mean it could be akin to uh the tower and it's in the reverse something that you found difficult to let go of or you've been denying or avoiding maybe even reluctant to face because you fear it it's coming to an end that cycle is ending the will card indicates success abundance being right in the being in the right place at the right time uh, but it also indicates fulfillment you fulfilled a part of your destiny this is a major full moon eclipse for you okay you're entering a new cycle a cycle where you're going to be proud of yourself where you're going to be satisfied with all that comes your way you're going to be fulfilled uh, you're moving on you're physically moving on from destructive forces in your world and everything is coming into balance okay the world card has got all elements on the the card itself so the victory wreath is right in the center and you've got all elements on that card so you've got uh, you've got Taurus you've got Leo you've got Aquarius and you've got Scorpio representing fire water earth and air so everything is coming into balance for you which is very important as a Libran so if you've been going through a difficult time I feel like you're trying to literally let things go and um, release this um, stagnant energy uh, so you may have felt really stuck in a situation um, 
that you felt bonded to. The, the tower energy is like prison. It's like you go round and round in circles and you feel um, that you, it's hard to release yourself from a tower moment. So it could be like a major epiphany. You've got the sun there. So there is a major awakening occurring for you uh, where you sort of take that leap of faith out of the tower and um, you, yeah, you release. I mean, if you've been feeling like stuck in like a, a routine, a repetitive cycle, because, you know, uh, a tornado is a repetitive like cycle, like spinning, 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 spinning. And that's the Tasmanian devil as well. So if you felt like you've been in this repetitive cycle, it's almost like Groundhog Day and you didn't know how to move on from that. Um, there's going to be a major change. Uh, the, the world card, I mean, to get two major arcanas out of a full deck, this is a huge deal for you. And it's a positive one. It's a really big positive shift. So um, the world card, it's almost like you're moving forward, you're entering a new cycle and you're completing that destructive uh, part of your cycle. Now, whether that's you displaying disruptive uh, behaviors or whether I feel like you've gone through something major, the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Cups, um, you've been going through uh, something very, very difficult. Uh, Six of Pentacles indicates balance. So I do feel like it's the same energy that's coming out. Something that's been really disruptive is coming into balance and it, it's being let go. It's been released. Okay. Um, now we've also got, um, they're indicating here you may be changing something on your path because we've got the judgment card here, which is about being in a fork in the road. And with this five of cups and the five of pentacles, it tells me that you are letting some things go that are no longer necessary for you and you're on the right path. They want you to be aware that there is also a gift from the universe coming towards you, something really positive. And they, more than anything, your guides want you to be aware that um, you are a gift. What you want wants you. Um, what you're attracting it's because you're manifesting. So your thoughts are becoming things, especially with that magician card as well. You're very heavily manifesting during this period. So watch your words, watch your thoughts, um, because you're actually manifesting them on the physical plane. Um, they're showing me how powerful you are. You have so much inner resolve. You're so determined, but more than that, you endure a lot. And I feel like you've endured a lot of difficult uh, situations. You've had a real test of faith. I really feel like you've had some hardships that you've had to overcome in life and you're stronger because of it. It has formed your character and, but you may feel a little bit like questioning the universe. Like why, why did I have to have that test? Why did that difficult experience occur in my life? The universe is almost setting you up for something better. It's, 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 it's moving you on from that time period. But I really feel like you had to, um, find your strength. You had to find, um, your inner resolve. You had to find that inner calm, um, in order to, um, also they're showing me that, uh, we all have to learn patience. Okay. We all have to learn that. Um, now the judgment card is the card of like renewal energy. So if you've been feeling a lack of motivation or drive recently, you're going to get this second wind energy. And I also feel a lot of philosophical questions are coming out for you. What is my place in the world? Who am I? Where have I come from? Where do I want to be? Am I in the right space? Am I on the right path? There's a huge sort of question mark in your reading um, for the next uh, four to five weeks. The judgment card is your true calling, your true calling and your true purpose and prosperity comes from that. So I feel like you're on your life's purpose. You're on the path, you're on the journey, but you recognize in order to be on that journey, you have to let something go. So for some of you, you may be changing careers or changing something about your, um, where you live, perhaps, uh, something is changing that you are activating, you are making these changes. And as a result, you have to live, leave something behind, whether it's a job that you enjoyed and you feel it's time to let it go, or whether it is a, a relationship. Um, I feel like you're learning a lesson right now about releasing, uh, you know, things that no longer serve. You're, um, allowing yourself to be in the ebb and flow of emotion in, in the flow basically is what they're showing me. Um, also it's almost like you're doing an, a fearless inventory in your life about liberating yourself from anything that's been holding you back. Cause they're showing me a flag and the way that they're showing me, it's like libertine is what they're giving me libertine. So liberty is what I feel. You're freeing yourself from something and you're free. Uh, it just feels lighter. Okay. Uh, the judgment card is also a card of 
you know, reaching for a new life and that the things that you need to leave behind in order to grasp onto that new life um, is important. So anything that would hinder you, you're leaving it behind. Uh, I know I keep getting this energy that you're just leaving something major behind here. Um, and I feel like, I mean, this is a card of also absolution. So you may be forgiving um, your past, forgiving people from your past, um, not in order to let them off the hook, but to lighten your karmic load. And it's all about karma for you, Libra. It's all about that balance. So this judgment card, I feel like um, you're looking at who deserves second chances or what deserves second chances in your world. And I really feel like... Um, you're looking at reciprocity. You're looking about how you put your energy into things and what you get out of it. So I feel like you're looking at that in all areas of your life, your career. You're looking at all the effort that you put in. Are you as successful as you wanted to be? And if not, how do you change certain aspects of that to get to where you want to go? You're still on the right track for what you want. The universe uh, is guiding you in that direction and your guides are really proud of how far you've come. But there's something here that you're questioning right now. And there's like... Um, a big conundrum. I feel like you've been waiting for something for a long time and it's time to sort of reconcile that there's something greater ahead of you. Okay. Now the magician card indicates, you know, um, you make really good decisions and you have everything you need within you. Your guides want you to be aware that your focus, uh, you have such an intense focus. Um, so make sure it's on the right things looking towards the future, only look to the past in order to um, understand what is uh, being acknowledged for, uh, you know, healing um, and things like that, old wounds but uh, and lessons, but looking forward is important. Um, you tend to be a sign that tries to look forward anyway. Um, the Magician card also tells me how talented you are. Uh, your guides are actually saying that you are so precise, you're so talented, there's also, uh, you're very creative, um, and also there's a little bit of perfectionism there. So just be mindful of that, um, because sometimes when we are, we feel uh, in that zone of feeling we want things to be perfect, um, then we get analysis paralysis. Nothing will ever be good enough. So maybe also you need to forgive yourself for um, you know, being so hard on yourself, so critical sometimes on your beautiful self, my beautiful Librans. Um, now also, uh, my guides are uh, displaying um, an energy of proudness. They're saying your guides are so proud because you actually bring magic to the world. You bring magic to everybody who meets you. Um, there's something about you, they're so, you're so, you envelop, they're showing me you envelop, or envelope, I'm not really sure, envelop, well, envelop, envelope people in your warmth, okay? You, you welcome people with open arms um, with your kindness. So you're very generous. You, you do a lot for charity uh, when you can. Uh, you help people out. You're so giving and loving. And um, there's a magic about you. Um, also, you're very dedicated and committed to manifesting your dreams and goals. You don't give up. So if, for example, um, you are trying to achieve something in your world and you find that something's not working, you always find another route to get to where you want to go. So I feel like your plan B is kind of like you finding just another route of how to get to where you want to go rather than it being a plan B where you give up on plan A and you go for plan B. You never give up. You're someone who's determined to succeed. And your determination and your focus, your willpower, your talent, um, your um, your shrewdness, you make really good decisions, uh, that will take you to where you want to go. You're very skillful in what you do, and you're at the top of your game, but sometimes you doubt yourself. we got the five of cups and five of pentacles. I keep, five is the number of challenge. So I feel like you challenge yourself in positive ways, but also you challenge yourself and chip away at your confidence sometimes. So watch out for that, my beautiful Librans, because if you don't believe in you, who's going to believe in you? So um, they want you to shift the way that you think about yourself sometimes. You're not lacking in anything. You have everything you need to be successful. You have everything you need to achieve what you want. The magician tells you that, you know, there's normally like everything on the table for the magician. He's He's got everything. Uh, at his disposal to be able to um, manipulate circumstances. And I, I know manipulate seems like a, a negative word, but it's to influence. Uh, you can influence your circumstances. Always remember what you want wants you. What you are trying to attract is attracted to you, okay? So I feel like you're a magnet for the things that you want. You're actually a master mag um, 
master manifester <laughs> my guys are giving me because uh, I'm channeling at the same time as doing a reading um, they're giving me tongue twisters so uh, that's really wonderful of them especially since Mercury is in retrograde at the moment and it's very difficult to communicate anyway uh, you may find like uh, emails going uh, missing or being archived and you can't find them or uh, if you've got a deadline all of a sudden the internet goes down things like that so I'm just gonna pull a quick card on this magician card but they're showing the words they're giving me are you are a master manifester okay remember your power remember who you are okay um, oh they just said, remember your crown. So either that's your crown chakra, as in the crown chakra is all about deep knowing. You know that you're going to be successful. You know that you're going to achieve these things. Or it can mean that remember your crown, as in remember the element of regality, as in, um, you know, your your power, um, your position. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Grand Angels. Um, you're in a powerful position. Uh, we've got the Four of Wands in the reverse. So some of you may be deciding to leave home or uh, separate from something. Um, I mean, they keep giving me this separation thing, whether it is you deciding to take a different route to where you want to go. Uh, the Four of Wands is about um, moving in some way. So moving home, uh, perhaps uh, thinking about doing that. The Justice card in the reverse something here that you're not happy with now this could literally be libra you that you're not happy with something and you're deciding to take a step out away from it it feels like it's not fair because the justice card in the reverse can talk about something that um you've struggled with or you feel uh you know um there's been some sort of dispute or there's something that's just not been fair or you've been receiving negative karma or there's something here where you feel a little bit stuck in a rut and um, I mean, some of you could literally have been going through legal problems, uh, but I feel this is something that has been either you caught somebody out in something. You know, they're showing me that you're 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 separating from things, making adjustments in your life. You're separating from situations that you feel are not worth investing in uh, because we've got the uh, seven of pentacles there. Seven of Pentacles is a question mark, whether you want to save things um, in your life or whether you want to shed them, whether you want to let them go. This is about you working really hard and success is, you know, you're, you're nearly there. It's almost like you're in a tunnel and you're chipping away at the tunnel and you're nearly there and you're wondering, is this worth it? When you're just about so close to just breaking through to the other side. So they're indicating you're not giving up on a goal or a dream, but you're looking at things in your life like, is it worth the effort that I'm putting in? Um, should I continue? I feel like you are going to continue, but you may be finding a new strategy or, uh, you know, Seven of Earth is a crossroads as well. It is finding an alternative way to get to where you want to be, an alternative way to progress. So I feel like you're contemplating what's your next move. Um, and in doing so, you're freeing up space in order to uh, reimagine where you want to be, who you want to be with. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of reimagining going on in your world at the moment. Um, and your guides want you to be aware that you're on the right track. This is your calling. Okay. You are manifesting new things into your world and it's going to bring a lot of success. Um, both emotionally in terms of personal growth, but also in terms of um, like uh, perhaps uh, financial uh, situations and things like that. I feel like um, anything you felt like you lost out on or you've had to let go of, you actually level up a stage where you get more, okay, in return. Uh, we've got the one who creates. So very, very talented. You're very, very talented. Uh, you march to the beat of your own drum. It says creativity, originality, spontaneity. And you may have recently felt a little bit disconnected from this energy of yours, but you are going to reconnect to yourself and feel more like yourself than you've ever done uh, for a long time. Um, they're also showing me that you're capable of uh, very strong regenerative um, powers. So you're not the sort of person when a disappointment comes along in life to give up. You're the sort of person who has that strength, that power, that willpower to and determination to succeed. You're very hardworking and you're committed to your uh, prosperity. You're committed to your family as well. Uh, I mean, that's an obvious thing to say, but um, they're showing me how much of your destiny you are creating 
by the power of your mind and sometimes you doubt yourself so that is something uh, I mean that's something that we all need to work on my beautiful Librans I'm not pointing a finger at you at all uh, we all have those doubts those 3 a.m. thoughts am I on the right path do I know what I'm doing um, you feel a little bit anxiety but I feel um, your guys want you to be aware that um, what you're creating is wonderful. Hold true to your vision. Don't give up on something. Um, even if you're retired and you are um, like not working anymore and you, you're, you're making your money work for you. Um, and I feel also that um, you may be connecting to like creative groups or, um, you know, people where you uh, ex explore a hobby. I also feel here that there is... Um, in your lifetime, if you haven't done it already, you're going to find an alternative source of money, like a second stream of income. So some of you may be doing something that you um, love doing, for example, um, that's a little bit more creative um, or you have a little bit more creative control over it. Um, and some of you are going to be like uh, working in another job, for example, uh, one that pays the bills uh, that, you know, you enjoy, but it's not truly where your heart lies, that sort of thing. So I do feel like you will experience that at some point in your lifetime if you haven't already. Um, now, uh, this is not going to resonate for everyone, but they're just showing me as well someone um, working within real estate, renting property and things like that. So if that's something you've been contemplating or if that's something that uh, you do for a living um, or want to get into um, in order to have... Um, wow uh, passive income <laughs> then there's something in this message for you uh, I don't really talk like that so I don't that's obviously uh, for someone in particular um, maybe it's something that you may be trying to work up towards or something like that so I'm gonna disconnect from that energy because it seems to be very precise um, but they're just showing me you're instinctive you're very intuitive and your gut instinct will never lead you astray don't doubt your wonderful self. Uh, we got the sun card here, so you're capable of much success. Uh, but sometimes, as I said, those doubts creep in. Also, I feel like you've been waiting a long time um, for uh, something in particular, something that you have attached a happiness to. But in the meantime, I do feel like you're trying to find that happiness within. There's a, a very large philosophical energy coming from your reading, which is about you finding your true happiness, your true joy. And, you know, I feel like an outcome here will be successful. So whatever it is you're visualizing, there is a positive aspect to it. Um, I feel like you've recently felt it very hard to be optimistic or you felt really um, trying to find that positivity has been difficult and even energy you may have felt a little bit low energy recently I mean you're you're an empath is what they're giving me your guides are showing me you're an empath and the world circumstances uh, do weigh heavy on you because you are a sign that is um, you stand for what is right you stand for justice and um, you feel the injustice in the world and that may have impacted your energy very heavily okay um, I mean everybody of course uh, feels a certain degree of um, anxiety and things like that with regards to the world so I feel like that's chipped away even more at how you've been feeling um, so just remember to ground yourself and um, you know Sometimes you're very open with your energy, so they're indicating that it's very easy for external circumstances to affect your emotions. So um, they want you to ground yourself. So find a way uh, what's best to ground yourself, whether you take a walk in nature, uh, whether you, uh, you know, uh, hold things like black, black uh, tourmaline or black obsidian, uh, just to uh, sort of ground your energy and, you know, you don't attach yourself to any like energy vampires or negative uh, sort of energy because you absorb like a sponge is what they're showing me also the sun card with the five of cups is you tend to sort of be the sort of person who smiles through the pain you don't want anyone to know uh, it's almost like you um you're strong uh, you're very strong and, and you've endured a lot in life but you tend to put a smile all over it like a plaster okay even though deep down um, you've been wounded in some way or there's something going on within your life uh, you're very private and I understand and respect that especially as a Scorpio I understand that privacy but they are indicating that you know um, there is something greater coming for you but also um, remember to you don't have to do this all by yourself okay um, you you can reach out to others and they are there to help you even if they lend an ear to listen to okay um now i just want to put pull a quick card on this uh, sun card for you with the five of cups thank you so much spirit guide for the angels can you please guide 
The wall card, again, they keep saying it's coming to an end. There's success on the other side. This cycle of sadness or this cycle of low energy um, or lack of motivation or feeling stuck in a rut that your success is not quite being delivered yet is all coming to an end. You're entering into this new cycle. The victory wreath in the center says you're going to be successful. You're completing something. Your commitment is going to bring you to accomplishment. Now, this could be an accomplishment of a goal. Maybe you felt like you've lost out on opportunities. Um, then there's another opportunity, even better than the ones before, that are coming into your world that going to show you how accomplished you truly are. Okay, so again, they keep indicating indicating this balance, this harmony. You're going to be in the right place at the right time in the world to meet the right people, the right circumstances to achieve or accomplish whatever it is you set out to do. Okay, that five of cups is a reminder um, that yes, grieve the things that are no longer necessary in your life. Let them go, let all of them go because they're only holding you back from acknowledging what you are truly ready to achieve you know, in the future. You can't see it yet, but there is even better on the horizon. This person's focus is on those dead flowers there. And they're not even realizing that there's two beautiful, uh, very, um, you know, living flowers that are being presented by the universe. So there is something better coming on in here. Hope is returning. Uh, the sun card with this card indicates hope returns. And, you know, there is um, a moving on energy. Um, when you get a five of cups in this position, it's about recovery. Okay. So some of you are healing from something. Some of you are going to have a major awakening. And I feel like you're moving on. I mean, this is also a card of forgiveness as well. So um, there's a lot of energy about forgiving a past situation. It could be literally you forgiving, um, you know, someone who bullied you um, when you were younger and they knocked your confidence and set you up for life, having low self-esteem. It could also be, you know, um, as I said, ancestral wounding or negative patterns that you feel like you've um, been influenced by, by guardians or parents or your peers in some way. So I feel like you're really sort of coming into your own. You're actually, your guides are showing me that you are more yourself now than, you, than you've ever been. So I feel it's a really positive shift that brings a lot of success. And of course, we've got the one who doubts, okay? The one who doubts, fear, weariness, trust. Now, the only reason you doubt, the only reason that there may be trust issues is because you've been given a reason to, okay? As you can see, this figure has been struck there. Okay, so there's a mark. You've been marked by something. And I'm not saying that someone struck you, but I mean, um, there's been something that has influenced this doubt or influenced this fear. And this is what you're releasing. Okay, so that you can thrive and be your wonderful, shiny soul, that beautiful soul that you came into this lifetime with. Um, you're very curious. I feel like you're starting anew in some area of your life. They're showing me your curiosity and how exciting you are and how passionate you are and how intelligent you are. Um, but still you doubt, even when the universe sends you evidence of how incredible you are or how talented you are or how beautiful you are, still you have doubts. So you guys want you to be aware um, that this too shall pass, but you're evolving and we're all learning and becoming more mature. The, as we mature, we actually start to be more comfortable in our own skin and start to trust our intuition. So they want you to be aware. Also, emerald is important. Emerald, uh, the, the stone, uh, the crystal emerald. Uh, so either, uh, I mean, it may be the name emerald or it could be uh, the stone emerald or where it originates from. Uh, maybe even something that you have that's emerald. Someone in spirit may have left you something or given you something that was uh, emerald. Emerald's important. They're just giving me emerald, okay? Um, it can be a piece of jewelry, it could be the actual stone, or it may be something that's called emerald. Uh, so please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone. Uh, now, they're showing me your absolute strength. You are a powerhouse. You are a force to be reckoned with. And yet, still, there's doubt. They're showing me, well, I'm sure I'm going to get this wrong because it's very muddy in the water right now. They're trying to show me a quote where it's what... It's, it's almost like, why are all the fools so confident and all the people um, who actually have real talent and real merit and real integrity in the world are riddled with doubt? So they're showing me that, you know, you are so um, incredible, but yet 
doubt yourself. Uh, I don't know if you heard that, but there was a huge sort of bang on my door. Okay. Uh, you know, and so I'm, I'm just here. Uh, so that's a major lesson they want you to be aware of. There was a massive bang there from spirit. Um, the force indicates, as you can see in the card, this is a strength card. This is about you learning to love yourself, having the courage to um, you know, go after your goals and dreams, but having the courage to let go of the things that no longer serve you. It takes a lot. You know, there's been many things in my life. I'm Scorpio uh, and we hold on to things. Believe me, we hold on to things. Um, and, you know, it's taken me years to let go of some things. And I've known each year I need to let go of that. I need, and it keeps resurfacing until I truly let it go and I have no feelings for it. So I feel that this is a path that you are surrendering to as well. Uh, the fourth card, as you can see, you're breaking the chains to the past. And as you can see, the spear is like you're headed in a new direction or you, you've got a new focus. Um, so I feel um, this is about you being curious, either about a new part of life or you're exploring a new way of thinking. It can literally be to do with your thinking, you know, changing the way that you respond to circumstances. Um, you know, uh, for example, if you go for a job interview, never focus on um, what you lack with regards to what they're looking for. Focus on what you have to offer. Uh, focus on all the things that you bring to a situation because you bring so much. But unfortunately, uh, they, my guides will show me that sometimes you don't see that and they want you to be aware of it, uh, that you, you, are, um, <clears throat> you bring so much. Also, your power of endurance. You uh, are the sort of person you go the distance. You, you never give up on something, even when life tries to knock you back and you've had a few knockbacks. Um, they show me that you just get back up and you face, you face forward again, you keep going. And that is something that you are incredibly good at. Um, you are breaking, if you've been going through a run of bad luck or you've been feeling really stuck in a rut, you're breaking that now. You're breaking the chain or the hold that that had on you and you're moving into a new cycle. This is about also how committed you are. They're showing me that you're committed to uh, achieving something. This is your endurance um, will and your, your will, your self um, control, your power um, to achieve whatever it is you set out to do, um, but also your kindness. You have such a beautiful heart. You're so kind to everybody. And sometimes you may feel a little bit unappreciated by those around you for all that you do for them, um, but it does not go unnoticed. I feel you're going to, um, there's going to be a moment in the next four to five weeks where someone important to you is going to show you a real moment of appreciation and it means the world to you. It means the world. And your guys want you to be aware that um, you're on the right track. Don't doubt yourself. Keep moving forward. Uh, you're on the right path and that you're going to manifest the things that you've been trying to accomplish. They're coming. Don't, uh, you're not the sort of person to give up, but they're just showing, um, um, they want you to, how's it? You may be feeling that the universe has left you out, but that's not the case. You're going to see that there is an offer coming on in, a gift from the universe to um, make you see that they've got your back, okay? Something that you've been trying really hard to work on is showing up in your world. Also, um, you know, the strength card tends to be number, uh, number eight, but in this deck, it's number 11, which is a soul path number. It also is about uh, an indication that you're on the right path. So I'm just sorry, it's getting really hot now. So it's, indi it's indicating you're on the right path. You're headed towards the sun. So that's why things got really hot right now because they're showing me that you're actually on the right path and you're nearly at, like, you're nearly at uh, completing that goal or nearly getting what it is you want, okay? Um, now also they're showing me that you, um, you fight for what is right Okay, you're the sort of person, uh, you know, you're very charitable with your time, your care, your attention, but you fight for what is right. So uh, doing things like, you know, going on marches or uh, signing petitions or, you know, really trying to spread the word to make the world a better place. You're that person. You lead with integrity uh, and authority. You're always the sort of person who champions the underdog. And um, they're just so proud of who you've turned into, uh, who you are because of your your fight for what is right. So uh, keep up the good work is what they're kind of saying there as well. Um, good things are coming. They said good things are coming. Uh, now we've got the Page of Swords, we've got the Six of Pentacles, we've got the Five of Pentacles, okay? So the top card is the, the, the Five of Pentacles and they're just showing me here about uh, worry, okay? And may, sometimes you may worry that uh, what you're trying to achieve is not going to work out. Uh, Five of Pentacles also is about um, perhaps you've been you've experienced a str real struggle 
okay? A real hardship and you're coming out the other end. Uh, so you're overcoming the struggle and the universe is also sending you a lifeline, okay? Um, the Five of Pentacles also is a card, as I said, of feeling left out in the cold and the universe wants you to be aware that they've got your back. So just let me clarify, I think so much, the, the Emperor in the reverse. Uh, now the Emperor in the reverse as well indicates that you could have um, been sent a couple of people on your path that have been very immature or ego, had a lot of ego, um, who uh, perhaps um, made you feel powerless or you've been um, in some way it threw you into chaos. Now this could be a relationship, a divine counterpart perhaps, uh, someone that you were with. Um, the Emperor in reverse can also show that, you know, um, now I don't like to get political or things on my channel or anything like that, um, unless it pops up, of course, I'll always be honest when something pops up, but they're just showing me here that um, you have a real disdain for authority and the way that um, people who are in positions of power at the moment, um, they are... Um, they're not doing the job that they should be doing. That's what the, is coming out, okay? Uh, the Five of Pentacles, the Emperor in reverse, it's like people are abusing their power and there seems to be less, there seems to be lack, okay? So I feel like that's something that perhaps has been in your energetic sphere or it's something that's been really weighing on your mind recently. It's just popping out there, okay? Um, that never really pops out in my readings. The Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, um, is kind of like something's not working or you feel uh, you're worried about financial dependence in some way. I mean, I feel like you're being really resourceful with your money. You're making it work for you, but you may have a bit of worry about uh, finances in some way. Uh, it doesn't mean that there's anything to worry about, especially since we got the Six of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles, uh, you know, does tend to talk about... Um, so, for example, if you're... Uh, the Queen of Pentacles is all about the home space and uh, family and things like that. So if you're thinking about moving, buying a home, for example, I feel like they're saying don't overstretch yourself, uh, make sure you uh, you know, buy within budget and things like that, which is an obvious thing to say. But there's something here about uh, a bit of worry about money, um, worrying that what if you don't have enough? Uh, but the Six of Pentacles indicates the universe will provide. Six of Pentacles also indicates that there will be balance. Uh, in your world. This is favor. The universe is looking upon you with favor and sending a gift, okay, um, because of your good karma, because of your um, your fight for justice, but also um, for your altruism, for you, um, you know, being generous with your, your love, your care, your devotion to people and to the way that you deal with, um, you know, people in need. You're, you're actually getting some good karma. Um, they're showing me that you tend to put a lot in and always feel like you just don't get what you truly deserve out, okay? Uh, and that's in a lot of circumstances. You tend to be an overgiver. Now that's coming up a lot in all of the readings. So uh, perhaps this is something that everybody's being called collectively to look at um, over the uh, full moon eclipse, but they just want you to be aware that things are coming into balance, okay? And the Six of Pentacles, I mean, also I feel there's a major transformation in your finances where there's more, more than you expected. More is coming your way, okay? And we've got the Page of Swords here. Um, very curious spirit. Uh, they're showing me that you always dig uh, to know more. You, you always try to get the truth of a situation. Uh, but the Page of Swords is also um, about new focus. So either there is a, some news that comes your way that uh, brings your focus into a different direction, um, I feel like you're really inspired to um, either find an alternative route or um, investigate something new. Uh, now, they're showing me also that you are um, you have strong attention skills and that's going to be enhanced when it comes to uh, that full moon eclipse, but also you calculate things in the right way. So um, you are very good at analyzing situations and um, creating a plan. Uh, the page is like the beginning of something, the planning stages of something. Now this could also be you thinking about going into an apprenticeship or you uh, taking a new position that you're excited about. Communication is important in this uh, uh, 
communication is important for what you do. I mean, it's important for everybody because humans, we all communicate, but perhaps your voice is important in some way, the way you talk, people listening to what you have to say, because what you have to say has value, a lot of value, okay? Also, uh, Page of Swords um, tends to connect to um, the idea of genius. You're very intelligent, but you just don't give yourself credit for that sometimes, my beautiful Librans. Um, so I feel like some of you may be um, either uh, as well uh, seeking knowledge as in uh, maybe going back to school uh, or uh, maybe even being a teacher as you know, there's something scholarly about you and you're eager to look in a new direction so I feel um, because I feel this energy of you giving out and it being rewarding uh, not just financially but in terms of yourself um, as well um, now, some of you with the Page of Swords will be curious about something or, or um, um, wanting to explore either a new way of thinking or a new way of learning, but you're going to take action on something. Um, and I feel it's like a new idea, for example, and it, it's very, very successful. So let me just uh, clarify a little bit more. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels, can you please guide my beautiful Librans? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? Knight of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords. The sun. Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles, I mean, they keep giving this energy of something you lost out on and you moving away from this energy and there being a happier time with the sun. You're, you're, as I said, you're headed towards the sun. The sun is the most successful deck in, uh, sorry, card in the deck. And that's why I had to take off my cardigan because I feel this heat coming from your reading, which is um, warmth. Um, happy memories, joy, positivity, success, optimism, uh, success. Um, and, you know, um, it's almost like a light at the end of the tunnel. But you've gone through something here that you are definitely sort of moving away from. The the Knight of Pentacles um, indicates like stubborn energy. Perhaps something was not working in your world. And the Seven of Swords is like you sometimes may just want to run away. You know, I mean, if there was ever a card that really sort of expressed the Tasmanian devil and the, uh, the tornado, it would be the tower or um, the seven of swords. Seven of swords is like, you know, um, going really fast. You know, that person is running away with the swords. So it is quite a, you know, destructive force. So uh, the seven of swords can be that someone either, you know, deceived you or there was something that has been unfair that has occurred. And no matter what, it's just not budging. It's like, it's a difficult energy to get rid of. So it could be trust issues, for example. Someone may have caused trust issues in your world or in relationships or in love, and it's been something you've found hard to get over, um, and you're releasing that in order to free yourself up. It could also mean that you're, you've are you lived a long time adhering to other people's expectations, or people tried to put their expectations on you, and you're getting fed up of this, and now you're releasing that. The Seven of Swords is a card of independence, doing things and not conforming, you know, not people-pleasing. It doesn't always have to mean that... Um, you're running away from something it can mean that you're creating independence in your world where you're like you expect me to do this and i'm just not going to do what you absolutely require of me i'm going to do what i want to do also it's a reminder with this card you know don't go too fast because sometimes you miss things so um, as you can see um those five swords but there's two left behind it's because this person's running away they haven't had time to pick them up that person could at least fit another sword into those arms because they've got three swords in one arm they could at least put another th third sword in the other arm so this can also mean that someone from your life that doesn't really invest fully always leaves a foothold in your life where they can return uh, they feel like they can return to talk or they can return in some way and you fed up of that I feel like you're releasing that unless there's investment from a situation or a person or a friendship I feel like you're not giving to it anymore you're looking at reciprocity so I really feel like there's a, a very large awakening here and the outcome is the sun I mean this is a resistance position which means something that you've been trying you know um, to achieve or something that you've been hoping to achieve has been just out of reach it's not quite been achieved yet and the sun card is your end card which means you're going to accomplish that especially since the world card kept popping out for you as well you you're going to achieve your happy spot your happy place and also this is freedom look at that uh, young youthful child this is about being vulnerable open to the universe and being free free in nature free in um, spirit 
and I feel it's very positive, uh, a very positive time for you. So the sun equals success, happiness, joy, and uh, abundance. Relationships flourish. It's a time of plenty. There's a lot of abundance on its way for you, even after a period of hardship. I feel like there's some really good things on its way for you. And um, you're, you're attracting this, just so you're aware. Uh, your thoughts are becoming things. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides. Grand Angels, can you please guide my beautiful Librans? Anything more? Any further messages they need to know for their highest good? What are they meant to see? Okay. Okay. I don't know if you heard that uh, there's two knocks there. Um, I'll let you into a little secret. Um, don't tell. Well, you can tell anybody you like. It's not really a secret. But uh, when I wake up in the morning and I come into my altar, uh, I pretty much every morning get a knock on my chair from Spirit. Time to go to work time to go to work always i get that okay so um it, it, they let me know when it's time to work and they just knocked again so I, I love the fact that um i hope you caught it on camera and you could hear it but that's my guides knocking um they want you to be aware that you're doing a good job okay that's they want um, i've got true chills here they want you to be aware that um you've gone through some difficult experiences you're doing a great job okay um now we've got White Stag Protector, we've got Dragon Supernatural, we've got Cat Independent, so that's what came out there, and we've got Peacock Vibrancy. They want you to show your wonderful self off. You're going to be noticed and appreciated by all who know you, okay? Whereas you've been feeling perhaps unappreciated for all the effort that you put in. We've got White Stag Protector, you are an old soul. Your best friend is nature. Use your intuition to take you where you want to go. Awaken to the powerful force within you. You are meant to create blessings with your magic. Remember, there's something magical about you. You're creating your blessings with your magic. Your thoughts are becoming things. So very important message right there. We've also got Dragon Supernatural. You are an ancient wise sage. So as I said, you're really talented, really intellectual. You've got a lot of smarts. Um, it says here, you are an ancient wise sage. You can shape shift at will. Mastery is your destiny. Rise with dignity. Okay. You're a master of your craft. You're really good at what you do. And um, I feel that, you know, you are on the right path. Uh, it's also got here cat independent. And it says, you are a natural healer. Your intuition is strong. You don't have to go with the crowd. Life supports you in every way. So if there's a, there's a big philosophical question, as I said, about your path, your direction, and you may even decide to go in a different direction or have a new focus of how to get to where you want to go. Um, and don't let anyone judge you on that. It's your path. Yours alone to walk. They can't walk in your shoes. So, uh, you know, you, you're walking in your own shoes. So there's independence uh, sort of feeling here where you're marching to the beat of your own drum. Plus we've got peacock, vibrancy. And it says, you were born to shine and inspire. Practice humility to avoid jealousy. Be grateful for life and more good things will come. Be true to yourself and recognize your brilliance. That's one of the big giveaways or big takeaways that your guides want you to know. Recognize your brilliance. Recognize your brilliance. Even if you say that to yourself every day, I recognize my brilliance. It's important because they, you're born to shine. You know, um, never settle for second best. Um, oh, no, they want me to go here next. Um, let's see what other uh, advice Spirit has got for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Grand Angels. Anything more, my beautiful Librans, you want them to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? One more. Thank you so much. Can you please guide them for their highest self, what are they meant to see? Um, okay. Suspicion. So we definitely picked up on those trust issues. It says here, the moment there is suspicion, everything becomes tainted. Distrustful, cautious, disbelief. So um, if you've been experiencing something like that in your world at the moment, and that's why those the Five of Cups and the Five of Pentacles came out, I'm sending you the biggest love that I have to offer. A uh, huge hug out there. Uh, I've been through something similar many, many years ago myself. So I'm sending you all the love and care that I can uh, throughout this, through the screen. I wish I could reach out and give you all a hug, um, but uh, it's so true. Once, you know, once suspicion enters the mix or trust issues enters the mix, it actually clouds our judgment. It, it, it actually puts a spin on everything that we see and it's really hard to get over. Um, we've got afterlife. And it says, a loved one is contacting you in waking life through signs. Next life, you're not alone, eternal. Okay, let me see if I can tap into what the signs are.
okay. Um, so they're showing me a glass pyramid, a glass pyramid. So either that's an ornament that you have and you can see it right now, or perhaps it's, um, it's something you'll see in a photo or a billboard or something like that. You'll see in the next four to five weeks, a glass pyramid, look out for that. Okay. Now pyramid is like strength and energy, you know, taking that energy from the four corners of the pyramid to rise up. Uh, into the centerpiece. So I feel like also this is about empowerment as well. Your guys, uh, the person in spirit is um, helping you to become more confident, more powerful, um, but you're rising up. They want you to be aware you are rising up. So a glass pyramid. Maybe that's something you've been seeing in meditations or something like that. It's, 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 it's something you're going to see if you can't see it already. You're going to see it in the next four to five weeks. Uh, we've also got preparation. If you want the victory, be prepared for the fight. And I feel you absolutely are prepared for this success, okay? It says, time to plan, don't get caught off guard. So major transformation. You may have felt called to prepare for something. Uh, you may not even know what it is, but you're getting your things in order in order to prepare for something. Um, and you're creating a plan. I mean, the Page of Swords is like, the preparation stages, having new ideas, creating a plan, investigating things further before you take action, finding the truth before you take action. So you're definitely in preparation mode and clear target. You are on target. Okay. Clear target. Someone has chosen you and it's coming in fast. So choice made, serious intent, hunt. So I really feel like, I mean, it's number 18. The last, um, one of the last readings I did, Sagittarius Energy, um, which is also connects to the, the bow and arrow. Their last, car, their last card was 18 as well. It's connected to the moon card, uh, which is the same with you as well. So if you've been feeling a little bit like disorientated or you feel a le felt a little bit clouded in terms of your intuition or your uh, direction, uh, you are actually going to um, hit the mark. You're going to make a mark and you're going to have clear sight. But I feel like you've been chosen for some sort of gift uh, with that six of pentacles, the universe has chosen you to have benevolence, to have good luck coming your way. Um, so um, this could be you. If you're looking for love, for example, someone has got their eye on you or will have their eye on you. If this is an opportunity, someone is choosing you for the job or the opportunity. You have been chosen. You are the chosen one. Um, and I feel this is some really... Uh, good karma that is headed your way uh, that will actually make you very happy. Uh, I feel like you're going to experience a lot of gratitude for um, the changes that are coming on in. And uh, no, finally, uh, we'll get some um, personal power oracle deck. Uh, they want one more. Okay, um, before we close. Things to remember, I deserve respect. Most important. You deserve respect, absolutely. And uh, you it's number two, which is um, the high priestess energy. So I feel um, that you're sort of disconnecting uh, from situations that don't respect you and you're connecting to source, you're meditating on things and I feel like you are trusting, trying to learn to trust your intuition. And I am unbreakable. So whatever it is you're going through, they really are uh, showing that you're strong enough, that you are going to power on through, um, but and you're unbreakable, you're going to thrive despite whatever has been difficult in your circumstances, and you're coming to the end of that cycle. You're coming into a more uh, successful, pleasant, happier time, okay? There's a new cycle for you. Uh, I'm just gonna get some uh, ruins before we close. Oh, that was easy. Uh, normally I have to hunt around, but they want me, I'm closing my eyes, so one, two, three. yeah, we've definitely got three here. I'm just gonna, I'm just um, feeling the energy before I give this to you, okay. So the first one uh, we've got is purity, okay, becoming. As I said, you're going to feel more um, yourself than you've ever than you've been feeling for a long time. So this is a, a, a ruin of uh, becoming uh, or birthing something new, perhaps uh, an idea. Uh, this is a birch, uh, so it could be you birthing a new idea or creating something uh, very new and that will take you in uh, you know a perfect direction but it could also be that you're focusing on your family as well at this time uh, you're releasing anxiety or worry and uh, you're purifying your heart okay so this is a beautiful one as well so this is basically gift so um, this is uh, 
a ruin that connects to that Six of Pentacles, actually. A uh, gift from the universe, but you acknowledging that you are a gift to the universe. You're a gift to the people in your world. Uh, so this uh, ruin connects to like partnerships, divine unions, love, um, uh, good fortune as well coming on in. So again, it's a ruin that connects totally to your reading. So, but there is a gift coming towards you, something really wonderful to look forward to that's going to just make you light up and, and smile. Okay, and finally we have Okay, uh, so I'm I'm not I'm I'm trying to feel the energy before I look at it, but I'm actually seeing a horse. <laughs> so horses, uh, uh, I'm closing my eyes and I see a horse, not in the water. I'm just closing my eyes and I can see a horse. Um, so horses tend to be about movement forward. Um, so I'm just gonna look at it now. Okay, yeah. So there we have. Uh, oh wow, yes, this represents horse. Oh, wow, that's really cool. That represents horse, which is about progress, okay? Uh, changes, so future changes, movement forward, trusting in the universe. Wow, I love that. Um, I like to surprise myself and try and enhance my own skills and gifts um, as um, I do everyone's reading as well. So I'm really chuffed that I saw a horse when I was uh, feeling uh, the, the ruin that actually connects to that. So uh, yeah, this is movement forward, trust the universe. Um, there is, you're, you're leaving a space that has been quite difficult and you're making progress and the universe is sending you a gift. Those, all those ruins exactly say what the cards were giving me. So I hope something resonates in this reading for you, my beautiful Librans. If you'd like to be on the chance to win a free personal reading, all you have to do is uh, take a moment to write five things on a piece of paper that you want to release. Okay, five things. Think about them intently um, and pop them down on that piece of paper. And then I want you to find a creative way to release it. So whether you uh, take it outside and safely do a burning ritual or something like that, or you sage it and then you release it, or whether you go across town and put it in a trash can that's nowhere near your home or whatever it is that feels personal to you, maybe just ripping it up into tiny little pieces or cutting it out and making it a paper mache kind of like, or uh, you know, origami kind of like a beautiful thing that you're going to release. Um, so uh, in the comments box below, all you have to do is write this sentence. I've let it go, now I'm in the flow, okay? And I will gravitate towards one lucky subscriber on the 28th of June, and I'll announce the winner's name in a video upload only, okay? Hopefully something resonates in this reading for you, my beautiful Librans. If it does, please like or subscribe, uh, describe, uh, please like or subscribe um, to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me too, okay? Thank you so much, my beautiful Librans. Love and light.